okay, so just take this example for yeah. me. AD. Yeah. Jordan Poole. Um, I'm looking at I'm looking at some guys in the league. Uh, Kawhi. I'm looking at guys look like they need like 15, 10 games under them to, to get going. Yeah. Bron looks like he was ready to be shot the gun day <laughs> one, right? KD looked like he was ready. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm looking at the league. Just look like it's like hurt early. I don't think our league is in good shape as far as fitness wise. I don't. I'm seeing guys like Bradley Bill haven't even touched the floor yet. I know. Um, it's some yeah. guys that like. Are you seeing the same things? Well, it's it's definitely different. Teams have different attitude towards. It. As you said, LeBron came in ready to go, and we talked about the Lakers the last time I was here about how those first few games really mattered for them to sort of set their mark. I don't like 38, 39 minutes. I don't like I, that. Oh, it's it's unsustainable for a man that age. Same thing with uh, KD and uh, uh, Phoenix. It's yeah. unsustainable to play him for that long, but they need to with the injuries that they have. And then other teams like the Clippers, I think they kind of knew they were getting James Harden, so they were like, mm. all right, let's slow roll this team and get this ready. They don't care about November, December basketball. Mm. They, they care about being burn? there in June. I think so. At least that's the way mm. it's come out. And then you look at Luka, who we got mad at the past few years for being the slow burn guy. He came in out of shape and then played his way into shape. Mavericks come in, fire. They're on fire. And they're winning these games early that they didn't win mm, last few seasons. You know, yeah. they were 500 or below the last few seasons because they would lose these early games. Now they're coming out on fire. So I think it's kind of the mindset. We didn't see Boston come in out of shape. We saw Boston come in ready to roll. And they won a, f- a bunch of games early. We saw Minnesota come in ready to roll. They're elbowing people in the mouth and upsetting people left and right. So to me, it's a mindset thing. And to me, some teams came in knowing we don't care about November. Not don't care, but we aren't looking towards November, December to play our best. Mm. We're looking towards that in June. And some teams come out and trying to lay their stamp out right now. And then there are some teams, Milwaukee, they're figuring it out. It's a new team. Yeah. You know, they're still trying to figure out what works for us, what plays. They switched defensive, uh, 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 the defensive scheme completely like, yep. a few weeks in because the Sorry. players came to the coach and said, let's do it this way. So some teams are figuring it out. Some teams came in with a different mindset. But you're absolutely right. There's a handful of teams that are like, well, this is preseason to them. And that's kind of disappointing. And forget Adrian's up there. It's a new system, yeah. new coaches. He got yeah. Dame, new, new everything. So yeah, stuff like that. Um, slow burns and, and and things of when it comes to um, high IQ teams, especially with really good coaches. Yeah, like the Clippers. I can understand that. Yeah, and I can see them focusing on more continuity, more locker room, more um, cohesiveness. And because those guys, those guys know each other. Those four guys actually that the Clippers have, those four stars, yeah. they, they know each other's not only game, but personally. Yes. And I think that's one that's going to over time. I'm just worried about LeBron's early on oh. surge. You know, I, I thought I thought like 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 um like Jordan Poole, I thought A D was gonna come out with, you know, but um history tells us that's not the case. And no. that he needs about yeah. twenty games, twenty five games. I think he's already well, Sitting out with something, I saw him. And there's other parts of that Lakers team that isn't performing the way we thought. Like Austin Reeves is not coming out the no, way we thought he would. No, Gabe Vincent, no. he's the opposite of LeBron. He left his talents in Keep it uh, real, South though. Beach. Austin like, Reeves is in the scouting report now. So oh, last year, sure. I did not yes. know yeah. Austin Reeves. Correct. So I can sit him in the corner and he can, and yeah. when I run out, he can take me off the dribble and get the late, right? Now You're people the, are paying attention. Man, yeah. Not only that, but I know your game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, now I'm looking at Austin Reeves' what did you bring back this year? What, yeah. How did you get better? Not yeah. just playing with USA, but how did you get better? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, yeah. he's in the scout report now. Yeah. Vincent, I'm looking for him to have a big year. I, I, I wanted it to happen already, but it hasn't happened yet. But again, who knows? They're trying to figure each other out, but it's too much pressure on LeBron right now for an 82-game season. Mm. The guy is is Megatron. The guy is unbelievable. You know, you cannot put an expectation in front of him that he can't accomplish. We've seen that now. He's proven it. But this, at age, what, 39, for him to play this much, it's insanity. Um, So I'm a little worried about that. I think they need to sort of figure some things out in the long run. But AD would certainly help. Hey, how do you, man, I don't, man, yeah, I don't want to, how do you get, man, 